there's just such a clear voice to it and there's such a happy energy to it and it it uses that kind of happy frothy energy to tackle something that hasn't really been done in in this way before so he's part of this great family and he has a great group of friends at school but there's something lonely in him and it is that he has this secret he's gay and he hasn't shared it with the people closest to him so it's just Simon's journey toward um, discovering what it means to own something so um, central to who you are to the people who love you the most the truth will set you free but there is a moment where everyone has to react to the truth and that is so overwhelming the fear of that moment that it keeps people from relaxing into who they can be and I think that's especially true for you know lesbian, gay, queer, transgender kids who are realizing, you know, I, I eventually I'm going to have to talk to people around me about something that I know to be true about myself. But the pressure of that and the anticipation of it and the, 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 the imagined explosion that that could, you know, that, that could happen from something like saying that out loud um, is pretty intense, I would think. The movie is, it feels like a romantic comedy. You know, it feels like the first romantic comedy that happens to be about two boys. He's just crushing it. He's, he's so good, he breaks your heart. And uh, you just absolutely fall in love with him in the way that you do in the book. Greg and I have known each other forever and I'm so happy that we're finally getting a chance to work together. Um, he was the perfect choice for this. He's a huge reason that, it, that I was so excited to be a part of the film. Uh, Greg and I sat down a couple of months ago in LA to first talk about the movie and I said, you know, here's some thoughts I have about the script and he went back and wrote these amazing scenes to um, fill in the blanks that I felt like were kind of glaring for Emily and and for the movie in in general and um, instead of saying oh you just want more to do or you just want a big juicy scene he just said I actually really see the need for that and was so collaborative and so fantastic and he's one of those directors who seems completely you can't you can't mess with his Zen he's a master of Zen and he's um, he's got it all under control this is very personal for him but he's not precious about it